Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And what you see on screen is the official Verizon website for the network test force. The force behind our reliability. Now, the reason I wanted to share this with you guys, I thought you guys might be interested in seeing some of these videos. There are a lot of videos on this website that show you somewhat of a behind the scenes of what, what goes into the networking, the engineering um, <clears throat> deployments, how, how they, how they perform in some of these areas. I've seen some of the videos. There's, there's quite a few of them. Um, it, there is a video on there that shares with you what they've deployed in a uh, side of the, uh, Denver, uh, Bronco stadium, like a thousand antennas total shows you around a little bit. And it's just, you know, it's, it's good to see for, for some of the geeks out there, the real, tech the wireless tech enthusiasts that's you know it's good to good to look at those videos and, and and see some of some of that behind the scenes stuff but it also goes to show that verizon is just really good at at at, at the networking and that's why i say with confidence that once they have the c-band at scale and they get just a little bit more time and 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 are able to make that much more of an investment versus you know last year and the year before the network will eventually be faster than than any of the other mobile network operators. And some of these videos, you will see that in, in these given areas, Verizon is already faster than its competition. And that's something that they strive for, which at the end of the day, like I, like I said, in the T-Mobile videos, it doesn't matter. It's not going to derail their success and the same with AT&T. AT&T has zero perks. They are not anywhere close to being the fastest network. And they still grow. Verizon, it's a complete opposite. Verizon is on its way to being the fastest network, having the most reliable network. And they don't grow. So that's something that they have to figure out. And that's something that we'll continue to track and update as the year goes on. Um, their quarterly earnings is coming up right around the same time as T-Mobile's. We'll see how they did for Q4, but there is a bit of a, there is a bit of a disconnect. We, we understand that and we see it, right? And we don't know if, if this is necessarily bringing customers in the door, like them pushing out this website for the test force and them now advertising again that they have the best network um, according to root metrics i thought i think i saw that in vegas and, and and in a few other places and some people were questioning like hey look is this is this type of marketing now the network marketing in 2024 is this yielding the type of results that it once did maybe 10 years ago because now at&t and t-mobile are that much uh, better when it comes to uh when it comes to the networking part they weren't as good back in those days when Verizon first jumped to LTE. They were still doing uh, HSPA. That was a bit of a there. There was a real gap in network performance. And I remember, if you wanted a solid performing network back then, Verizon was really the only way to go. When you when you wanted to have a solid experience across the board, with T-Mobile and AT and T, you got some LTE, you got some HSPA. It it, it just. It just wasn't a consistent, solid experience across the board, but that's different now. So some are questioning if if that still matters, right? Does this advertising of the network, the engineers having the best network per root metrics, is it still yielding the results it once did? So, you know, I I think there are some pros to it, but also... I don't think it, it might be yielding the results that they may be expecting, but I think there are some other ways to market this where I think they could go and say, hey, look, we offer and provide coverage here and our competition doesn't. We still have the bigger network where our competition doesn't reach. You know, I think that's still some of the marketing that they can push out there and and that might yield some results, but the Looking at it from an overall picture, I don't know. I, I just don't know. And, and and right now, we really can't see the numbers. Uh, Verizon's churn is up. They really haven't grown much. So, you know, having this type of network that they're building hasn't yielded results 
period. You know, never mind the marketing, all of the C band that they've been building, right? Publicly, they've stated they could they cover 230 million pops. Um, members, you guys know where they're at now from the from the internal numbers. So, again, they're 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 pushing this. They're pushing the C band scale beyond anything that I think we've seen so far in any mid band deployment. They're moving faster than T Mobile, and they're moving faster than AT and T. You know, we just got to call it what it is. But we need to see that translate into results and we just haven't yet besides fixed wireless access so i'll leave this article in the description so you guys could check it out again i highly encourage you guys to check it out lots of info lots of good videos on there if you're new to the channel make sure you guys like share subscribe follow my social media outlets this is tyrone with tech life and i'll see y'all in the next one peace